Everyone knows they need to work out. Everyone knows they need to eat right. Why don't they do it? People will not take action unless they believe they can land safely on the other side. We have this big opportunity, and I believe we can do it by changing lives and become the best tool for fitness success that's ever been created. In 1996, a former champion bodybuilder named Bill Phillips changed the way people dreamed about what was possible for their bodies. He and his supplement company, Experimental and Applied Sciences, or EAS, created a one-of-a-kind competition that challenged regular people around the world to change their bodies and their lives like never before. The resulting book, Body for Life, became the top-selling fitness title of all time. One young entrepreneur impressed by Philip's work was Ryan DeLuca, founder and CEO of Bodybuilding.com. It grew from an online storefront into a community where successful transformations happened and were on display every day. In 2013, Phillips and DeLuca met for the first time at Bodybuilding.com's home office in Boise, Idaho to discuss the ongoing challenge of transforming the world. What I got into uh, writing, well, you know, bodybuilding was subculture. Right. It was very esoteric and the, the inner circle knew mm -hmm. what was going on and then all the other people that wanted to look like Arnold or get an athlete's build. Right. Um, you know, had to guess. My passion was making that esoteric knowledge exoteric and taking it out of the circles and making it available to, to other people. The, the breakthrough for me right. was when I was writing a muscle magazine right. and writing booklets and, and right. whatnot. And, it, and it really, you're writing as if uh, your, your market is the big bodybuilders, right. the guys that are competing. Right. I went to a bodybuilding contest. The guys and gals watching the show, whether they get on stage or not, Right. You know, they want to do that. Yeah. So I started, I started turning around and I started talking to them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's exactly how we looked at them, especially with our name, bodybuilding.com. Right. We, we, at the beginning, it was about bodybuilding and competition. Then we started to talk to our users and we realized that they didn't want to compete. They didn't really want to become a professional bodybuilder, but they wanted to learn and they wanted to, to transform. Transformation says it. It's not just transforming how you look, it's how you live and how you feel. You know, I'll be happier with myself and more confident. And then that confidence and energy then continues on in other parts of your life, whether it's contributing to your church or at work or with your family. Just the idea that there's this better life and this better way to live and it, a before and after really just shows it visually. Part of what made Body for Life so successful was its focus on real before and after pictures. Anyone could have six-pack abs and action figure biceps, Phillips was saying. They just needed to be willing to transform the way they lived. Hundreds of thousands did. After parting ways with EAS, Phillips quickly became America's transformation specialist, staging annual competitions, writing multiple best-selling books, and leading transformation camps in his home state of Colorado. You can do it through desperation or sometimes inspiration, but I think desperation gets a lot of people started right. and inspiration gets a lot of people through. I think we need more inspiration. You know, I think people need to be more inspired um, and they need to have something that's more accessible. What inspires me and impresses me about bodybuilding.com, it follows that same type of vision that I was so excited about in, in the 90s, and that is uh, educate. Uh, inspire, give people programs, uh, not just products. I just read a stat the other day that just said 400,000 people in the U.S. this year will die from complications related to obesity. And that is preventable. And so what we want to do is to help keep people motivated. You know, using the community, using the tracking tools, using the personalization and content. And if we can do that, help them get the results, help them stay off the couch, I think, and continue what you created, I would be very proud of that. I grew up in Golden, Colorado, a little town where nobody cared about money. It was just like you had enough of what you needed and um, you just didn't measure success that way or fulfillment that way. But by necessity, I um, started writing and started informing people, sharing what I knew, and uh, people started buying my uh, research um, and the publications. I think in business you've got to be passionate about something. Um, 
and to be resilient because you're going to fail a lot in right. business and you have to be resilient you have to be passionate about it and and money won't get you there right so i agree like yeah. i used to think if i was selling a product or yeah. creating something that i didn't care about those days where you're in the deepest darkest yeah. trenches of being an entrepreneur yeah. and it'd be so easy to give up yeah. and it'd be so easy to be like man forget this, I'm gonna go get just a regular job, right. where because I cared so much about it, like right. I wanted to keep trying, and I right. wanted to keep going during those tough times. The biggest piece of advice that I always give to people, because a lot of people ask me like, hey, you know, I wanna start my own business, or I'd like to do something similar, is to do something that you're passionate about. Where a lot of people, they say, I wanna make money, so I'm gonna start a business. And I believe that if you start a business to make money, yep. you won't. If you start a business to create something that has value to other people right. and that they'll appreciate and that's something different than that, uh, what other people have done before, magically the money kind of starts coming yep. on the side. Yep. I, I, I don't think I've talked to anybody who sees it um, as similarly uh, as, as, as I do as that. you got to have a good reason. Right. And I say the better your reasons, the better your results. So you must have had a great reason for, for getting this going right. uh, because you've got great results, that's for sure. In the 1990s, web marketer and amateur bodybuilder Ryan DeLuca bought the domain wholesalecreatine.com to sell a new supplement made popular by Philips company, EAS. After a month of no orders, DeLuca's site exploded. He filled hundreds of orders a week from his garage. By 1998, DeLuca began to think bigger. He purchased the domain bodybuilding.com for $20,000 in 1998 and launched it on April 13, 1999. From the start, it was more than a store. It claimed to be the largest and most complete bodybuilding site online and included articles, forums, and profiles of amateur bodybuilders. Our first product was creatine. That's around the time when the internet started taking off. And so I kind of, the business model that really started was based on creatine, you know, the product that, that you helped bring to market. And it was like, hey, so you can buy it really expensively at a health food store. Maybe I can sell it directly online, cut out the middleman in, in this way and sell it cheaper. And so, you know, that really was the start, um, was based on, I guess, competing with you. Sorry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, but then, of course, you, yeah. you, know, you guys became our, our biggest vendor. Yeah, yes, it was just so big. It took over the market, and that's all our customers wanted was EAS products. And when we would run out of the products all the time <laughs> because we couldn't keep it in stock. And so we basically, we would have all these back orders and we just put them in a little pile. And as soon as the huge semi would come back with all the EAS products, we would just leave them on the pallet and just put them into orders. And we still didn't have enough, so we'd be out of EAS products again. And we would call up customers and say, hey, okay, we're out of this product, we apologize. Do you want to switch it to something similar or continue to wait? And they always wanted to wait. Everyone knows they need to work out. Everyone knows they need to eat right. Why don't they do it? And it's because they can't keep motivated long term. They won't take that leap um, unless they believe they can land safely on the other side. We have to keep doing this. We have to keep people uh, moving and exercising. But you have to move people to get them to move. Right. And inspiring stories. You can't have enough inspiration in, in this business. Like I put in my documentary um, way back, uh, showed people that it was real and that it was attainable. And then I think you kind of feel that evolutionary impulse to grow and to reach higher and, and to change. And then, like you said, making it accessible, what you're doing with your technology, and then making it easy to understand. You could solve a lot of problems for a lot of people um, by continuing that path, and you're, and you're already doing it. We just have a great team that, that gets it. Obviously, we believe in everybody here you know, following the lifestyle and uh, understanding our customers and what they go through. So every January we do our employee transformation challenge. Awesome. And so we do big prizes for everybody. And so you can see a lot of the before and afters. The biggest thing is once they go through it, as you know, you understand a lot more about right. why the things we're doing are so important. Right. See, that's the thing too, is that when you have the experience, you can transmit right. it. If you exactly. just study the knowledge, you can only, um, you know, you can re-educate someone, but you right. can't transmit the message. 
and, and I feel like if anything, it's not as much just me coming up with ideas. You know, a lot of times people do think it's just the CEO right. sitting in his office thinking of all these genius ideas of what to do. But to me, I feel like what I do is really listen, listen to our customers, you know, research what people need, as well as listen to our team members, you know. And so I take all that and I almost more feel like an editor where I feel like I take all these things and say, okay, let's now keep it focused all in this one area. And, but I mean, that's, that's the greatest thing about it is that the team now is what comes up with everything. As Bodybuilding.com flourished, DeLuca and a small group of employees rapidly expanded the site. It became an online community for people around the world to share what worked, what didn't, and how they planned to achieve their fitness goals. Now 15 years old, Bodybuilding.com is the most trafficked fitness and health website in the world. Millions of visitors each day read expert content and share their goals and transformations on the world's largest fitness social network and forum. The store created to sell creatine now sells thousands of products, including supplements, workout equipment, clothing, and food. With over 700 employees in Boise and at distribution centers worldwide, Bodybuilding.com continues to expand its site and mobile platforms. Users have more ways than ever to achieve their transformation and to tell the world their story. So you can see some of the charts up on the walls over there and those, on those screens right. where they're monitoring the site and there's so many different parts of the site now. So 100,000 visitors a day, I think? Um, it's like uh, 1.2 million or something. You know, I think it's like what it's up to right now. No, it's exciting to see and it's a, um, that's why I was uh, um, eager to get, get to know oh, yeah. you and come out because it's just awesome. It's just inspiring to see. I love it when people wow. succeed. Man. I'm impressed by the, the energy of your team and how they relate to the, the vision. And you don't always see that in, in a company where there, there's a vision that permeates you know, the soul of every person that's working there. And then we have our vision statement right here, front and center. But it's, we are your personal trainer, your nutritionist, your supplement expert, your lifting partner, your support group. We provide everything you need to burn fat, build muscle, and become your best self. We change lives. And so what the goal is, everybody walks in, they see this as they're, they're coming in, they see the commitment wall where they sign, and it starts their day off in the right way. I, when I look back and I think, would I do something differently? Of course, there's little things you wish you could go back and redo, but it's really like that was a lesson I had to learn at that time, and, and it's helped me to become to who I am today. And, and so what I feel like is, using a lot of the principles that you helped to, to promote, you know, and a lot of the things and theories that you brought out there with nutrition and, and exercise and, of course, supplementation, if we can build that message and bring that message to more people. No matter what we're doing, it's like I'm always irritated, like, why aren't we doing this next thing, <laughs> you know? But, uh, so to me, the things that I would change about Bodymonocom are the things that we're working on. You know, I want to make it more personal. I want to be able to create more social accountability, better trackers. I want it to be with you everywhere you go through your mobile device. And then really just taking all this data and using it to give you one-on-one -on -one personalized recommendations. Because not everybody can have Bill Phillips as their personal coach, you know, so if they could then have the coach basically through data of what our community's doing and what really works and get great recommendations wherever they're at, then I think that could be a big value to the world. We have this big opportunity, and I believe we can do it by changing lives and helping people transform and become the best tool for fitness success that's ever been created. And so it's almost a positive pressure. And so it's until we've got to that point, I don't know if I'll ever feel like we've actually made it. 